What's up guys, back with another how to. This time I'm gonna be trying to teach you how to 180. All right, so to 180, you're gonna need to know how to bunny hop, and you're going to need to know how to fakie. So the first thing I didn't really do when I was learning how to 180 was learn how to fakie. Every time I'd rotate the 180, I just didn't know how to get out of it and like fakie out. So if you don't know how to fakie, there is a good way to learn. Go up to a curb or something, kind of like hit your front wheel and like rock it forward and then come back and then uh, to keep your balance um, look at your stem and then pedal backwards and if you're gonna fake you to the right pivot your hips to the left and then to the right and then vice versa if you're um, rolling out to the left pivot your hips to the um, right and then the left so there's two like other styles to fake you there's the half cab and then there is the slider and the half cab is once you pivot um like if you're pivoting left and then right to go roll it to the right side like once you pivot your hips to the right um you start to like to do a little bunny hop and it just finishes the fakie for you and then vice versa if you're uh, faking to the left to do a half cab you pivot your hips uh right and then when you're going rocking left then you give a bunny hop and it just completes the half cab but yeah like i said looking at your stem really helps you keep your balance for the fakie the more you practice uh faking like what I used to do is I would just go up to a curb and just keep doing it and doing it. Once I finally landed one, I would see how many I could do in a row until I finally got it down and I was able to fakie. Um, unfortunately for me, I learned how to do them the wrong way, so I would do 180 Indian Givers, which is when you 180 a direction and you fakie the opposite direction. Um, personally, I don't mind it, but some people hate on it. You're gonna wanna approach the 180 at a moderate speed. You're not gonna wanna go too slow then it just makes the fakie even more difficult and you don't want to go too fast because then it also makes the fakie too difficult you want to go maybe like one full pedal and that should be a good enough speed and for the 180 okay i can't stress this enough on how like easy it was once i figured out this one tip all you need to do it sounds stupid because it's pretty like it, it would just seem self-explanatory but do, okay, just bunny hop and turn your head around like you're gonna look behind you. Like, do a bunny hop and seriously, as you're hopping, just hop and turn around like a hundred, just, just literally just look behind you and your bike's gonna follow, but you need to commit to looking behind you and you need to give a little carb as you're jumping. Otherwise, you're just kinda just gonna like turn your head in the air and look a little weird. But you need to give a good carb. You need to look all the way behind you and give it decent, a little decent hopping with a little bit decent speed and you're gonna, as long as you know how to fakie, you're gonna get out of it eventually. You just gotta keep practicing it. Um, the fakie is always, always a difficult thing I see for people learning to 180, but if you really just keep practicing the trick, you'll get it down eventually. You literally just gotta practice this, like give it like at least like an hour out of your day just to practice this trick. If you have more time to practice it, then go ahead. The, the more time, the faster you'll learn it. Uh, thank you guys for watching the how-to. Um, I'm gonna be going to Ronka Skate Park soon, so expect some videos from there. Uh, it's indoor park in Bakersfield. Um, I filmed, uh, I went to a trampoline park called Skywalk. Terrible, I filmed a video there with my girlfriend, so that'll be out um, in a couple days or something, but their foam pits are literally like three feet deep. So every time you jump in, you hit the floor of like the little thing on the foam pit, it just sucks. It's like not even safe at all. It's like the most dangerous park ever. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.